Hello, and welcome to a video where I'll be taking a look at the premium spigot plugin, Lands. So, what is Lands? Lands is a GUI based plugin that allows players of a server to claim and protect land. From there, the users have full control over who breaks blocks in their claim, down to who can even enter their claimed land. So let's take a look. So today we'll be using my server to walk you guys through how to use lands. I will start with the basis of claiming land and then move on to customizing the land controls and roles that come with the plugin. If you have any questions about the plugin or would be interested in joining my server, please feel free to join the discord using the link in the description. So basically we're going to imagine that you've found an area in the world where you want to build and we're going to go about claiming the area and then we'll customize everything we can about the area. So what you want to do is you want to go into an area and say we're going to claim here. What you want to do is do lands space create space and then give it a name. So we're going to call it tutorial. Press enter and then you'll get barrier blocks to show you the area that you're in. And then you get this on screen tutorial owned by Darth. If I exit the land, it'll say wilderness field the wild re-enter lets you know where you are. We can customize this that's in front of us. So what you want to do is you want to do lands and it'll open up a GUI here. This GUI basically gives you a view of your lands that you're part of. The dirt blocks show lands that you're trusted in. The grass blocks show the lands that are yours. I've got a spawn one for the actual server and this tutorial one that we are in right now. So what you want to do is you want to go into it and it brings up all these options. The only one we're going to start looking at first is the name and enter message. Click on that again. Here, you can change the name. It's currently tutorial. We can change that if we want. You can also change the enter message. And if you look below it, there's available placeholders. You can have a percentage sign, owner percentage sign, and that'll give you the name of the landowner. Or you can welcome a player using percentage player percentage. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the message. We're going to change it to just press T to type in chat. You do welcome. And then we're going to do percentage player percentage to my land. Let's do that. Press enter. And then you hover over it. And it is now welcome player to my land. So we got out of this area now. To the wilderness. Turn around and we walk back in. Welcome to after my land. Now you might be wondering what happens if I'm in. A super flat world and i can't find my land what you want to do here is do land space view press enter boom here's the area and it gives you a bit of information in the bottom left hand corner so you've got your area set up but you want to extend it we want to do two chunks wide so we go into this area here that's connected to it the next chunk over and just do lands space claim done we've claimed the land now the next thing you want to do with this plugin is you're allowed to set spawns of each land so technically it's kind of like um setting home so say we want it to be on this dirt block this is where we want people to spawn if they teleport to our land what you want to do is you want to stand where you want it and you do lands space set spawn enter set spawn right here so if i go to here and then do land space spawn space tutorial for my land teleports me right back onto the spawn point and if anybody else teleports to there they have to be trusted but if anyone else teleports there they'll go straight onto that block so now let's go into the settings that come with this plugin so let's do that so now you've got your land created and you want to first set up you can change the land settings if you go into land again lands Click on your tutorial area and then you want to press on this grass block. It's going to give you six options here. Now you've got animal spawning. You can enable or disable normal animals from spawning. You can also disable and enable entity griefing. You can turn mob spawns off and on. Both of these here, the animal and the mob, are not affected, as you can see at the bottom, by spawners. Pistons from wilderness, that I'm going to show you in a second. TNT griefing or allow water from wilderness. So these two wilderness ones I'll show you first. So this, if this is enabled, players can push blocks into your spawn using pistons. And I'm gonna turn this off now, but they can use water as well. So if we go land space view, and then you see this here. So if I try and push this block into the land, it blows up, not allowed to do that. And I wanna place water down. It does not go into the claim, but then I can do, if I pick this back up and I do lands 
and then go back into here and I enable the water and the piston. We put the piston back down with the lever on top. That's it. It pushes. There you go. Place the water. The water flows in to my claim. Done. Now the other two. TNT goes off. Doesn't blow up. Creeper. Doesn't blow up. So that's how you customize and change the land settings. Now they can all um, all be toggled on and off. Completely up to you. And as you toggle them, enabled, disabled. Works really well. We're going to now look at the rules. So let's move over to that one. So after you've messed with the land settings, you're now going to be moving on to the rules. And rules are basically to do with other players within the world interacting with your land. So you go into tutorial here. You go into rules. And it gives you four roles by default. You've got owner, that's yourself. You've then got an admin, a member, and a visitor. Visitor, by default, is everybody in the server when they come across your land. So if you click on it, you can see you've got this option there. You can rename them. Currently, it's visitor. You can rename it. You change the icon. That means that you have to have a block in your inventory. So if I get a dirt block here, we have it in our hand. And then we go into lands. You go into the tutorial, then your roles, and the visitor, change the icon. And now it's changed to a dirt block. Completely customize it how you want. And you can view all the members in this role. The next two here are the main thing that you want to be looking at. So the action settings here gives all the settings that a visitor can do. So I'll try and make this as easy as possible. Basically, you hover over them and it tells you everything they can do. By default, the only thing a visitor can do is enter your area. This here, if you turn this off, it'll mean so if it's anyone that's not trusted in your area, they can't even enter your area. By default, that's on, so anyone can walk over, but they can't teleport to spawn, they can't use vehicles. You've got attack animals, attack players, you can turn them off, just with a simple click, on and off. Break blocks, place blocks, open chests, open doors, general interaction, I'm not 100% sure what this falls under. Uh, and then you've got redstone, and then you've got trade with villagers. So you can toggle these all on and off, you just click them, on, off. Then you go back and then it'll bring you back to this thingy. So then if you go on to, sorry, if you still in visitors, you've got this management setting here. This is the other one that you can toggle. So once you've toggled these settings, you go into management settings. The only one you have here is this claim land at the border. So basically that means if you have somebody who you have not trusted, they're not allowed to claim right next to you. So they can't simply come along your land's here, they're not able to claim this chunk. If that, set, if that setting's on, they can, but by default it's not, so they won't be able to build right next to you. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. Next thing we're gonna look at is if you go into land and then go into roles, the members the next level up, you do here and then you have an extra, um, extra setting here. Should members of this role automatically be added to new areas with this role? So that's basically if, another area is created will they automatically get member in that area that's what that means and then as for um actions the newest one you get here is fly fly is actually enabled by uh in the land when you're in your own claim you are able to fly so they can you can toggle that on and off it's completely up to you if you want members to be able to fly in your area it's completely up to you um, if you go back onto management settings, you still have this one that you can change it. So you could change that someone that you've trusted can build right next to you. We'll get onto how to trust towards the end. It's pretty simple to do. Next thing you've got an admin. Can admins um, get the rank in new role in new areas? That's true. Member settings. So here's the admin settings. They can assign areas. Literally all is here. They can withdraw money, claim land, claim land at border. All these new settings. They can edit these settings that you're editing now if you want them to. Uh, taxes and make it. And war also. That is uh, declare war on other lands. It's by default. I don't think it's enabled, but I've disabled it in my server anyway. That's basically where you can go to war. Same settings for the admins. They can still do the same stuff. And then obviously you have the last one being owner. That's yourself. You can turn them on and off if you don't want to be able to fly and stuff, but I guess you keep them all on. Management settings are exactly the same as the admin ones, and you just go through these. They can trust players. So let's get on to actually trusting players. 
if you want to trust someone you can literally just do lands and then i believe you go into here get a list of trusted players and here's the only trusted player now if i want to trust a player click on it and then type let's type sassy kitten tx so that's going to send a request to her now hopefully she can accept uh, there we go. Sassy Kitten is now a member of area default of our land. So if you go into lands, now go into here, and then you go into trusted players, you see there she is role of a member. If you left click, promotes to admin, and you right click, demotes to member. And then you can also, if you go on trust player, and then just put Sassy Kitten, TX untrusted she's now not trusted from the area so that's how trusting works and adding new members um i believe that is about it where we're at so you got inbox here this keeps it this is just basically a log player left player joined just click them and it removes them um you got the stats you got your invites will show up there if you have any invites a list of trusted players that we've just shown and the area is this area that you're currently in now two claims uh, but that's basically the main stuff currently that we're using lands like the, the bare minimum there's so much more that you can do especially the admin side but that's something that i've not really need to show because it's more of a server admin thing um but yeah that's how you claim lands and protect areas within my server currently um so if you're interested or have any more questions, like I said, please feel free to follow, follow, to join the Discord and ask questions in there. If you'd like to join the server as well, you can use the Discord to do so. But I feel like that's everything that's needed to be done currently. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if it's helped, let me know. If you need any more help, please let me know. And I'll do my best to help you. But until the next one, I will see you in a bit.